excerpt from the temple of nature or the origin of society by erasmus darwin seventeen thirty one to eighteen hundred and two read for librivox dot org first if you can celestial guide disclose from what fair fountain mortal life arose whence the fine nerve to move and feel a sign contractile fibre and ethereal mind how love and sympathy the bosom warm allure with pleasure and with pain alarm with soft affections weave the social plan and charm the listening savage into man god the first cause in this terrene abode young nature lisps she is the child of god from embryon bursts her changeful forms improve grow as they live and strengthen as they move ere time began from flaming chaos hurled rose the bright spheres which form the circling world earth's from each sun with quick explosions burst and second planets issued from the first then whilst the sea at their coeval birth surge over surge involved the shoreless earth nursed by warm sunbeams in primeval caves organic life began beneath the waves first heat from chemic dissolution springs and gives to matter its eccentric wings with strong repulsion parts the exploding mass melts into lymph or kindles into gas attraction next as earth or air subsides the ponderous atoms from the light divides approaching parts with quick embrace combines swells into spheres and lengthens into lines last as fine goads the gluten threads excite cords grapple cords and webs with webs unite and quick contraction with ethereal flame lights into life the fibre woven frame hence without parent by spontaneous birth rise the first specks of animated earth from nature's womb the plant or insect swims and buds or breathes with microscopic limbs in earth sea air around below above life's subtle woof in nature's loom is wove points glued to points a living line extends touched by some goad approach the bending ends rings join to rings and irritated tubes clasp with young lips the nutrient globes or cubes and urged by appetencies new select imbibe retain digest secrete eject in branching cones the living web expands lymphatic ducts and convoluted glands aortal tubes propel the nascent blood and lengthening veins absorb the refluent flood leaves lungs and gills the vital ether breathe on earth's green surface or the waves beneath so life's first powers arrest the winds and floods to bones convert them or to shells or woods stretch the vast beds of argyle lime and sand and from diminished oceans form the land next the long nerves unite their silver train the young sensation permeates the brain through each new sense the keen emotions dart flush the young cheek and swell the throbbing heart from pain and pleasure quick volitions rise lift the strong arm or point the inquiring eyes with reason's light bewildered man direct and right and wrong with balance nice detect last in thick swarms association spring thoughts join to thoughts to motions motions cling whence in long trains of catenation flow imagined joy and voluntary woe so viewed through crystal spheres in drops saline quick shooting salts in chemic forms combine or mucor stems a vegetative tribe spread their fine roots the tremulous wave imbibe next to our wandering eyes the focus brings self-moving lines and animated rings first monas move an unconnected point plays round the drop without a limb or joint 
then vibrio waves with capillary eels and vorticella whirls her living wheels while insect proteus sports with chainful form through the bright tide a globe a cube a worm last over the field the mighty enormous swims swells his red heart and writhes his giant limbs end of poem this recording is in the public domain